Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna get right into it. So whatever the cards want to say about this new love coming in, we're finally finally doing a reading on it. And if these readings have been resonating with you, um, you might want to subscribe because I, I do these readings pretty frequently. I appreciate your likes and comments as well. Even just leaving a heart comment, it really helps me get back in the algorithm. So what do you want to tell me about this new love? Sudden wealth, message, poverty, adjudication, main mail. False person, despair, concern, mature man, message of concern. What the hell? Okay, I had to pause for a second because I was like, what is this energy? Okay, and looking at it, I just had to like look at it for a minute and just kind of tune in. And what I'm feeling is that this man has actually been used by people for his money. I feel like this new love that you're manifesting, I feel like he actually is really financially well off. We have sudden wealth and we have message. I feel like I you might not know that he's wealthy though when you meet him. I feel like this man, he might have a lot of money in in like stocks and bonds. Um, he could be a, well, we're going to get more into his personality, but I feel like, God, I almost feel like he like makes money behind the scenes and he makes a lot of it is what I'm feeling. Like he might have his like main job that he so shows society, but I feel like behind the scenes, it's like he's doing something where he's making a lot of money or he could even come from money. Like maybe he has a, um like a father or a grandfather or someone that's wealthy that he has um, a large inheritance from. I'm just getting like this energy of like, like almost like a front where there's like his regular job or what he does, but it's like, you might not find out everything. I feel like behind the scenes, he actually makes a lot more money than that. Um, I don't feel like money is even really that important to you for the most part. I mean, I think that you, you look for something genuine above all else, but you know, money I'm sure is a, it's a good bonus, I guess. But it's, it's such an interesting energy that this came out first, but I feel like what it's telling me is he has been used in the past for his money. So I think it's saying if he's a little bit, um, if he's not, if he's not very open about his career or how much money he makes, don't, be thrown off by that. Don't assume the worst because I feel like he's been used in the past for his money. He's, there's been people that, um, have basically taken advantage of his heart, taken advantage of his kindness, taken, kind of wanted to piggyback off this man's hard work. Because we have message and we have poverty. So I feel like in the past, and it could be multiple people, it might not even just be one person, but I feel like when he's allowed himself to be open and vulnerable with people, they I'm going to need to do tarot to get into it more. But I feel like when he has allowed himself to be really open and vulnerable, these people have ended up just being gold diggers. I feel like this is a man who have dealt with, has dealt with a lot of uh, like false people in his life, a lot of gold digger types, people that didn't really love him for him. Or people that maybe like, maybe he was like dating some of them. Um, like for some, it's like maybe they were dating and then it's like they found out how much money he had and they, it's like they, this false person stopped focusing on the emotional aspects of the connection and they started focusing on the money. It's kind of like that. Um, what was that TV, that TV series, uh, the bachelor or whatever it was, I think it was like years and years ago where it's like at the end whoever the guy chose, like whatever girl he chose out of all of them would either get a million dollars or they'd get to be with him. And it almost took the emotional aspect out of the connection because some of them, there might've been a, a legit connection there with him, but they weren't focused on that. They were thinking about the money. That's the kind of vibe I get here where it's like somebody messaged him in the past and said, Hey, I'm in poverty. I need help. Like I need like, hey, I really, I really need a car or I really need like a, a house or I need something. Can you help me? And he made a judgment call 
And this false person really took advantage of him. Despair. I feel like there was a relative that was concerned about him too. Message of concern. Tell me more about this. So I feel like I feel like one of the, the things that you need to look out for, and again, only take this if it resonates because there's new love coming in for like a very large collective. And some of you, it's going to be someone like this. For others, it's going to be different. Like I'm going to be doing multiple like different new love readings and whatnot. So, you know, only take this if this is really like resonating with you. But yeah, for this energy group, it feels like he might be a little bit... Um, I feel like he does have respect for women. I don't want to say he doesn't have respect for women, but I think he's a little bit jaded where he's a little bit afraid of being used. It's like he was really in despair. He really thought there was some kind of deep connection here. And this person was false. This person just wanted his money. This person might have even stolen money from him. She might have even, there might have been some kind of marriage or some kind of, um. like she might have tricked him. I feel like, I feel like her, her focus became, you know, financial, basically. I'm hearing she could have even had her friends trick him. Like, I feel like she... It's really interesting energy. I might... Okay, so guys, I might do another new, no love, ah, new love reading later. Because I want to do a more in-depth one. So this might just be like a little warning here for somebody. I might not get too... I might, I might do another one. I'll, I'll see where it goes. Um, anyway, so check back for that. Cause I will, you know, the, over the next week, I'm going to keep tuning into this energy and telling you more and more about this person. So, um, yeah, despair and false person. I'm hearing she might've even had her friends manipulate the, manip manipulate him. I feel like It's almost like he there was someone that he really opened his heart up to and it was just she she just used him and I just feel like maybe the public found out about his money so he's very secretive about it now. I feel like he's very he's very secretive and and yeah, he has a respect for women but he kind of feels like a lot of women are gold diggers so he's very careful. Like he might um Let's see. Let's look into it, actually. Coffin, journey, toil and labor, unexpected income. Great for it. Yeah, it's unexpected. You, you feel like this person just has like a regular nine to five job or they're just Maybe this person is like a writer, for example, and they're actually like writing for the New York Times or something like that. But they just tell you like, oh, I'm just just a freelance writer. I make enough to get by because um, I just keep getting something behind the scenes where it's like they're they have like a front that they're going to show you, but they have something behind the scenes. And I think this warning is coming up to basically let you know, like. This person isn't like a bad person and this wouldn't, and you know, use your own intuition, use your discernment always, but it might be one of those things where it's like, they might be kind of secretive about finances or about their job. I feel like this person also really looks for red flags in, um, like he looks for signs of women being potential gold diggers. So if you're like really quick to be like, oh, take me to this fancy restaurant or take me to this, this vacation or take me, you know, take me here, or, take me there or like asking them for money or anything like that, like they're going to really genuinely get to know you and make sure, 100% sure they can trust you before they open up about their career, before they open up about, you know, their financial status. Because I just see it being unexpected. They have like a great fortune and it's, it, you don't expect it. You feel like they're like an average person or like everybody else, you know, capitalism, toil, labor, like, it's like you're not recognizing it. This person might also travel for work. That's what I'm seeing. This person might travel for work. But yeah, it's just kind of letting you know to like kind of be understanding with this person. Like they have been really hurt by those types in the past. Um... So it's not, and, and for some of you, you might know this person's rich. I think for most of you, you're not going to know that this person has a lot of money, but for like a small, like 10% of you, you might know about this. Um, but this person's going to test you a little bit. This person's going to kind of keep an eye on you 
And it's just, it's just kind of letting you know, like, they're not trying to play games. They're not, this person's, I'm not getting a manipulative vibe from this person. I'm actually getting a very empathetic, very loving, very gentle vibe from this person. This person has a very big heart. And that's why they have to be really careful. Because people will take advantage of their kindness. People will, people have, I feel like people from their past have been like, you know, I need a new car. I need a, I, I'm desperate. I need a place to stay. It, it's like, um, it's like that kind of energy. So, and this person could even be a little bit uh, famous for some, not like, I mean, not like celebrity status probably, but I mean, this person could be somebody that, you know, again, like I'm, I'm seeing like maybe they write for like a famous company or they're like a famous author or, um, cause I'm here, I'm feeling writing for somebody. I'm feeling like this person might be a writer for someone here. It's like, cause they have some kind of like income behind the scenes, but you're not going to really see it. So, so yeah, be, be patient, be understanding with this person. Um, not if they're playing games with you, of course, no, no, like mind games, but I just mean if they're kind of like taking it slow and kind of observing you, like they're going to take notes to see if there's any red flags of you potentially just being out for their money. Um, they want to make sure that you're a genuine person. They want to make sure they're not going to get hurt again. Because I feel like with that person that screwed them over, I feel like not only, I feel like the money, they didn't even care about the money. I feel like this person is humble. They're, they're not one of those like, you know, they're not one of those people that has a lot of money and just does with, whatever with it. Like, I feel like this person is the type that will like give money to charities and to people that really need it. But they want to make sure that it's not expected of them. That's the difference. It's like they'll they'll donate to charities, um, but they won't like they they don't like it when someone just asks them for money or just expects that or people just kind of use them for that. Like they don't really ask them how they're doing. It's like they have these these false friends from their past. I feel like because I feel like it's more than one person, but I feel like there were false friends from this person's past that would just kind of um like, you know, go months without talking to them. And then out of nowhere, they're like, Oh, hey, how, how, you know, how are you doing? What's going on? Um, Oh, like, you know, by the way, like, I, I lost my house, like, I'm, I'm really going through it, like, hint, hint, or like, Oh, my, my power bill went off. Like this, and this person's smart, this person knows, this person used to see the good in everyone. And now they're a little bit jaded. But this person's very, this person's highly intelligent. This isn't the type of man that you can message them with a little, oh, I'm good. Just, just the water bill got shut off. That's all. And they're, they're, they're not going to see through it. No, this person's going to know this person's going to be like, that's, that's odd. You, you want to tell me about your water bill when we haven't even been talking for months. You know what I mean? Like they've had friends that try to hustle them like that. And so they've kind of learned to, to protect their heart, protect themselves. I am getting one person in particular, though, that they really deeply love that really just screwed them over. And I feel like the money isn't even what hurt them the most. It was like they 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 don't care about the money. It was the heartbreak that was devastating for them. They really this person really hustled them. And I feel like um, I feel like they did take a financial loss, too. There was some kind of it could have been like a marriage and divorce kind of situation or something where the ex-wife like took all this man's money or something like that. And she just wanted the money. It's one of those kind of situations. Or she could have even literally like stole money from him. Cause for some, I did feel like there was someone else, like her friends or someone were like involved in it. For some, I feel like maybe like she just took off. Like she just like took his money and took off. She was out. Like she was just gone. You know what I mean? Like whatever it was, it really left a scar. Like it was a, a pretty major heartbreak for this man. Um, so it's just kind of letting you know, like he is, and, and again, never, never tolerate abuse, never tolerate anything toxic. Um, like I'm, I'm not getting abusive vibes. It's just like, he's, he's learned from these toxic people that have just used him for his money. He's learned to, um, to really protect his heart. So if he's not spending a ton of money on you, and again, like he's not, if, if you're dealing with a man that borrows money from you or anything, anything like that, that's not this person. Like this person will still take you to dinner, but they're not going to take you to like the, the fancy, fancy restaurants or take you traveling or anything. They're not going to let you know they have it like that right away. You know what I mean? And they're going to really test you. They're going to really watch you to see 
what you do to see to see you know where your goals are to see if you're more um and just in general too not just in the context of like the relationship because I'm seeing like a dinner date where this person's like asking you questions but they're smart and they're asking you questions to try to get a feel for you know are you someone that's going to hurt them and use them or are you genuine do you have you know, do you have your own money? Or are, you, are you just looking for someone to take care of you financially, because you don't want to work? You know, like they want someone that's genuine, someone that they can spend money on you and take you traveling, but you don't, you don't require it, you don't ask for it, you know what I mean? Like you have your own, you have your own financial stability, like you're not looking for that in a partner, you're looking for someone you're, you're looking for genuine love, like this person is this person doesn't want money to be involved in it, you know what I mean? Um, but they are a gener generous person. They are a generous person. And I feel like they will be paying for dinner dates. Like they're not going to, I feel like this person is old fashioned in a lot of ways. So they are, they might not be taking you anywhere fancy, like, but they are, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like Red Lobster for somebody. Like they're going to take you to Red Lobster, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I'm seeing that. I just, because I keep getting this visual and I just like realize it's like, there's like a location around my house. I'm like, oh, I know where that Red Lobster is. <laughs> That's funny. Um... Anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're going to ask you questions. They're going to test you, not just in the context of the relationship, but also just they want to know what you're all about. They want to know if, for one, are you financially independent? Like, if they, if they do get to, if you guys do get to know each other and you guys do fall in love, can they take you to, um, like, can they take you on, like, vacations and pay for the vacation and you know, take you to these fancy restaurants and like, you know, help you out without you expecting it, without you asking them for it. You know what I mean? Like, can they take you to like, on like a two week vacation to Europe and come back home and, you know, a month later, have you not be like, oh, I need money now. Cause they, cause you see how much money they have. You know what I mean? Like before they really spend money on you, they're going to, they're going to make sure of those things. They're going to make sure it's not going to, you're not going to ask for it. You're not going to request it. Um, and that's not going to be like your main motive. I feel like they want to know about you too, just in general, like they want to know, um, like what your goals are because they want somebody that's financially stable on their own because they, they don't, you know, again, they don't want to be used for money, but they also want to know, like, are you somebody that's just, um, cause this person's more emotional. Like this person is, this person has a lot of good karma and I feel like they really earned their money. Even if they um, were given the money this lifetime, like even if this was an inheritance, I feel like they earned it in past lives through their karma. Like this is a really good, genuine, loving, empathetic person who really tries to see the best in people and really wants to help people. But he wants to make sure he's helping people that like deserve it and really need it. Not people that are just going to only want him for that. You know what I mean? But, um... But yeah, he, he, I feel like he's more emotional. He's more like the emotional, like romantic type deep down, even if he doesn't show that to everybody. So he's going to want to make sure that you're, um, I mean, like, I think he wants somebody that has like their own goals. Like if you're going to school, you have your own career, like he, you know, that's a good thing, but he wants to make sure he's not with somebody that's just only driven by those things. You know what I mean? Like he wants, he's family oriented is basically what I'm saying. And so he wants someone that's family oriented. Like it's good for someone to have their own career, but he doesn't want someone that's just like career and money is, is number one for them and family is number two. You know what I mean? He wants somebody that's, that's going to match his energy and, and prioritize family, prioritize love, prioritize st stability in a relationship. And money is just second. Money is just a bonus. You know what I mean? He wants someone that has that same perspective as him. So, so yeah, don't, you know, don't assume the, the worst if this person's a little, takes it a little slow and kind of, you know, a little bit distrusting and wants to, wants to feel you out. I feel like they'll still be pursuing you. Like you don't want to deal with somebody that's like running. I'm, I'm not getting a coward. I'm not getting a cowardly energy from this person. Like this person's wise and intelligent. I'm not, you know, don't, don't deal with anybody that sabotages like, that's that's cowardly energy honestly because the way I see it like anybody that really loves you or anybody that's really into you like they're gonna want to pursue you and everybody's afraid of getting hurt these days everybody's had their heart broken 
but it's not okay for a man to say, well, I, you know, I've been hurt. I've been heartbroken. So um, I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me. That's that energy is not okay. That's that's cowardly energy. This person's more in the mentality of like, I've been hurt a lot before. I've had my heart broken. I've been used a lot by people. So I have to be careful. But I know deep down, he still wants love. He's still trying to find true love. He still wants a home. He wants family. He wants that deep connection. So he's still going to put himself out there. He's just going to be a little bit cautious and maybe testing the waters a bit. So anyway, I'm going to put this out. I hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you for watching.